How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Booze Review. It has been a very long time since I last recorded one, uh, but we're back now, and hopefully we're going to make this more regular. Now, just because I've not been uh, recording in a while doesn't mean I've not come with quite a collection to review today um, and over the next few weeks, uh, as I'm going to be uploading the episodes uh, one a week now um, on my main Booze Review channel. I'll probably just bulk upload them onto my main. Um, right, so... To get started with today, we have got, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just show you everything that we're going to be re reviewing because, like I said, I've got a few. So, what we're going to be reviewing today is Red Legs Pineapple Rum. Now, we've done a pineapple rum before on the channel. It was uh, Dead Man's Fingers, which, again, in time, we'll be doing a comparison on as well uh, to see which one's kind of the nicest. Now, Red Legs, a very good rum. I haven't actually tried it, but it's got a very good reputation behind it. So this is a smooth tasting, infused with vanilla and ginger, distilled in the C C Caribbean. 37.5%, uh, 70 centiliter bottle. Um, but yeah, and the main thing to this is it's pineapple. Uh, I, I will have to review the actual original spice rum that they do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, everyone knows I love my rum and I love my flavours. So that is what we're going to be reviewing today. However, we have also got a few more. Now... This one I picked up in Sainsbury's, I saw it, and it really caught my eye, and I thought I'm going to give it a try. It's a vodka by Brewdog. Now, Brewdog, I am a big fan of their beers, ales, all that. They make really nice drinks, and I think Spirits is something of a new adventure for them, I do believe. I could be wrong, correct me if I am. But this is raspberry and guava, 40% volume. I picked it up for about £20, I think. Uh, 70 cent a litre bottle, obviously. It is normally more, it was on offer, and... It, mainly the flavour pulled me to it. it sounds really good i think it's going to go really nice with lemonade uh but yeah that's going to be on the next episode then this is one here that i got for my birthday which was back in july now uh, samuel joe's baby now this is aldi's take on um jack daniels um so we're going to give this a good go uh, i'm hoping it's going to be really nice too um i do like my bourbons and then, obviously, like I say, I always say, once it's reviewed, the current favourite and winner of all the comparisons, which I do believe is Buffalo Trace bourbon, we're going to put it up against that. Obviously, Buffalo Trace is a bit more pricey. This is only about £13 for a 70 centilitre bottle. Um, so, I mean, who knows? <laughs> it's um, Aldi's done it before. Where it, One of their scotches was my favourite for a long time until I went and you know, pushed about out price wise, but um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be in a couple, uh, a couple of episodes time. And then the last one was this boy, Captain Morgan sliced apple. Now I got this from Sainsbury's. I paid fifteen pound. No, I paid thirteen pound. It was on offer, and also it came with a free glass. Uh, love Captain Morgan. It is one of my favourites. Uh, not my favourite of all time, but it is one of my favourites. And I think the apple. Now it's only twenty five percent volume, so it's very much like the tiki that they did a bit back. Uh, so I think this is going to be really easy to drink neat. Uh, but again, I think it'll also go pretty damn well with some lemonade. But, there to come. That was just a little tease. Here is what we've got on today. So, as I said, Pineapple Rum by Red Leg. And, I know this might sound daft, but it's caught. And I always say... I always say if it's got a cork, it's good stuff. Oh my god, it's, it does smell pretty damn fantastic. Oh my god. That smells beautiful. So as always, we're going to try it neat first. And then we're going to add some mixes. Kind of see what the best mixes are. What I like about rum is, even though, like, say, this is 37.5%, it's always fairly easy to drink. Uh, it's the spices to it. it. It can be sweet. It's just really nice. So let's see how this one goes down neat. Obviously, but on the aroma first, it's sweet. It, the pineapple shoots through, like sugars. You can get the spices too, uh, but not too. It's not too strong in that department. Oh wow! But once you drink it, everything's there. The spices shoot through. It's quite strong in taste. It's there's like a hint of caramel. It's probably the vanilla, but it's just me like getting it through as caramel. Um, the pineapple's definitely there. The pineapple's more of a first taste, along with spice. Then as it 
like settles in and the aftertaste is very the rum is there the spiced rum it's nice it's got a really nice aftertaste a slight warming down the throat um as you expect with the spirit but that's really good mm, that's nice i like that uh very easy to drink neat uh, I imagine that could make some nice cocktails with as well. So I'm going to have to have a look at some recipes uh, to do with that. Right, so next I am going to get on with uh, pouring two equal measures. Obviously, we've got two, we're cracking glass here and this glass here. We're going to have one with Coke and one with lemonade. And I think, really, this will be a lemonade job here, but let's see. Right, so here we go. So we've got lemonade and we've got us Coke. Now, uh, obviously, I always say I don't like to mix too much because I don't want to take too much away from the flavour of the actual rum. Uh, and I think this should be perfect measures um, for the best of both worlds. So, I'm going to start off with the uh, rum and coke. Uh, now, this, when I go out, I always have a rum and coke. They don't always have too many different varieties. So, it's normally just a spice rum and coke. One of my favourite drinks. So, um, there'll be no... I know I said this is probably going to be the better, but I won't be biased because this is actually my favourite drink. Mm, that's nice. I think it, it's very sweet, really sweet, really easy to drink, actually. Um, now, obviously, the rum to Coke ratio isn't much, like, um, it, so it's not too dilute, but it makes it really smooth and makes it really go down really well. Um, in terms of the... In terms of the pineapple flavour to it, it's there, definitely there. I will not say it's strong out there. That can be the issue sometimes that we're mixing with Coke, is it does take some flavour away. And I've noticed that in the past with other flavoured drinks. Uh, lemonade really kind of helps to enhance usually. Um, but it's nice, it's really easy to drink, really sweet. I imagine if it was cold, that it would be like the perfect summery drink. Um... But yeah, no, it's good, and um, I'm hoping that the lemonade is going to be even better, to be honest. Right. You can smell the vanilla, and I don't think that... I know it says it's uh, infused with vanilla and ginger, but... The vanilla really comes through when it's mixed with lemonade, which is really kind of weird. That's nice. It's definitely better with the lemonade. I'll start off with that. But it's really weird how it's really enhanced the vanilla flavouring. And then the pineapple comes through afterwards. And um, it's still not diluting away that flavour of the spiced rum. I won't say the spices are out there. They don't... They're not as um, strong as obviously they are neat. Uh, and I would say that putting a mix away, it does kind of dilute the spice completely. Um, takes that kind of warming effect away, which I do enjoy. I'm not going to lie, I do enjoy that. I would say out of all three, I would prefer to drink this neat. It's easy to do, and I think that is how you get the best out of this drink. Uh, however, if you are going to mix it, I'd say definitely mix it with the lemonade. Um, a lot more enjoyable uh, than the Coke. But all around, drink it neat. It's a really nice rum. I wouldn't go out to say it's the best rum ever. Um, but it is really nice. Obviously, we're going to put it up against Dead Man's Fingers, which is one of my favourite rums. We've got the pineapple. We've reviewed that previously. So we're going to give that a, um, a whirl and see how it goes up against it. But other than that, that's all I've got to say on this. Uh, so yeah, red leg, pineapple rum. Buy it if it's on offer. Don't pay, you know, top end of £20 onwards. Um, I can't remember how much I picked this up for now because I did pick it up a fair while ago. But it is a good rum. I will definitely review other Red Leg rums. And, uh, yeah, we'll see in a few videos time how it goes up against uh, the Dead Man's Fingers. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.